in terms of government intrusion into our private lives. We believe that in the city's use of this kind of technology that we are following national best practices, we, we uh, secure warrants, we limit, it, we limit our uh, analysis of data to the target of that warrant, and it's uh, some of the things that people believe the technology allows us to do is, is just not currently feasible to do. So uh, it, is a, it is a very, very important tool in a very limited area. I had a question on the uh, Memorial Park plan, one more. Um, did you say that, you, that the city's going to do a traffic study, another traffic study? Uh, yes, although I, you, you heard me call an audible here at the council table, so it's not planned yet. I just said, it, and again, it's the city. It's not the conservancy. It's not about what's going on necessarily in the park. It's taking a look at what's happening in the surrounding neighborhood because we all understand those are some narrow streets. They do get a lot of traffic. There are not enough sidewalks over there. So we, we the Public Works Department, the Parks Department, um, parking management need to sit down and figure out what we can do separately from what's happening inside the park to make sure that that, that area remains safe. I would submit that the majority of the folks who came, uh, who live across the, the street from the park, don't want change don't want the fact that we are moving more of the active activities in the park to the north side, and it's going to impinge on them. They're going to see, see more things happening in the park, they're going to hear more things happening in the park, yet at the same time it allows us to create a quieter, more natural area on the south side of the park, which we also desperately need in this really big urban area. And it's, it's uh, I, I understand why they don't want to see the changes, but the changes are definitely in the best interest of the park, and they're in the best interest of the park users. I, I'm a couple of weeks late in asking this, but on the, the, don't ask. the, now, the now Foundation, <laughs> the, the Now Center, um, the situation there where they sort of halted their plans, um, and they're just getting going in the back in front. Um, the city, I, I, I urge Mr. Now to hold on to the money and, and let us go forward. But I mean, the good news is that the land is still available. The bad news is that we still need a first class visitor center for the city of Houston. I, I love our visitor center downstairs, but people have to know that it's there and they have to come out of their way. I mean, we have a really nifty city hall and there's a lot of history here, but that's really not why people come to, to Houston. And so having a great visitor center with all of the gifts and uh, access to information on how to do tours and, and where to go and putting it in the vicinity of our convention center and our convention center hotel only makes sense. It was going to be incorporated into John Nell's cultural center and so we, we uh, that's put on hold. At the request of Mr. Now, we still have to do something to take care of our uh, visitor center and in fact the visitor center downstairs is going to be closed soon. It's operated by Houston First and they really want to concentrate their resources down where most of the people are. I, I guess part of the question is the city sold land and used those proceeds to help the center get parcels to set up on. It, it, would the city, do you think it was the right call? I mean, would the city have used those proceeds to do something else? If you well, these are, first of all, these are Houston First proceeds. They're not general fund dollars and I want to make sure that these weren't weren't local tax dollars, these were monies generated through convention activities. And it is uh, directly adjacent to where we're building a new parking garage and office building. So we, we can, the land is more valuable than it was when we bought it. So if we wanted to flip it, we could do that. But uh, it's, it's in line with future development that we want to do, so it's all good. But we, I still would love to see John's vision become a reality. He put two years and uh, millions and millions of his own dollar pursuing what would be the best uh, cultural and historical center in the United States, and it just the economy wasn't right for him. Given yeah, what you said about the visitor center downstairs closing and moving, and the need to do something, what, what is that something? What is the current idea? I mean, 
something over there or something down here? Well, either you're saying you, you got to do something about it. So what's the what's the? You're going to need to talk to Houston first about their plans, but you know we don't have a visitor center. And yeah, I don't know if you've been to. They're doing a whole lot of new work at the uh, George R. Brown. They're bringing retail down on the street. They're moving it out and so forth. They may de dedicate one of those bays to a visitor center, but right now we, they really don't have anything over there. They may put aside some space temporarily in the Hilton Americas, but uh, this it's a beautiful space downstairs. It's a, and if you haven't bought a Houston souvenir, you really need to go buy a Houston souvenir. No. Uh, in fact, we have some really great rodeo souvenirs in there, but it's just it's uh, out of the way for what most people need, and it's, it's, it's not cost effective. Uh, Mayor, on, on one bin for all, um, how far along is the bidding process, and when do you expect the project to begin? I don't know, and I really wish that you guys would stop writing about it until something actually happens, because nothing's happened in, in months. Uh, as we've said all along, we're not going to do it unless the dollars are, the, the dollars make sense. I haven't, it, it has, let me just say, it has not bubbled up to me. I haven't had a briefing on any aspect of it since we, since they came and told me who had responded to the RFP. So I have no timeline. I guess it's between now and the end of the year when I'm gone. And uh, we're not in a hurry. There's nothing that's driving, there's no timeline that's driving us. Our commitment to Bloomberg was that, that we would account for every dollar we spent, and we are, and that we'll either come up with a working go forward plan or we would come up with a white paper that allows us to tell every other city out there what the opportunities and pitfalls are in this country. But do you expect something to happen before uh, for the end of your tenure? Yes, I, I'm not going to leave this to the next mayor. But is it going to be next week? No. Is it going to be a, a month from now? Maybe. It, it, it just, we're, they're still in a review process. so I, I haven't given them any artificial deadlines. Thank you. Thank you.